So, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen with Kluger. We are in sheer chaos. What I'm trying to do is kill the goblins down below at our feet. At the gob- at the troll's feet, I suppose. Kill that friggin' goblin! Good. I'm trying to pick him off from a, from a distance, because like I said in episode one, we're pretty squishy at, in the early days. They're really picking on Rook hard. There we go, so they're out of the way. So now we're going to try sort this troll out, and in my practice runs, I found this troll to kill me pretty damn quickly if I got too close, so I'm going to work from back here, if that's cool with everybody else. See if I can shoot it in the face a bit. That'll make it mad. But anyway, I hope everyone's awesome and well. I, despite the craziness of this game, at such an early stage, I really am having fun with it already. It's a really cool game. It's fantastic. It, like, this first fight, it just feels so kind of natural and, and sort of in control, despite it being quite difficult in some respects. Like, when a big troll's chasing you and jumping at you. <laughs> Holy crap. All right, we're working it down, though. If you, shoot, if you shoot it in the eye, it seems to really piss it off. Carefully now, carefully now. Let's do a bit of a dash. Get over on this side of it. We're not doing a great deal of damage to it. Did everybody else die or something? Come on now. Is its health even going down? I think it is slowly. If I ask for help from Rook, is he gonna bug, give me a buff? I would really like another fire buff. Cause this fight isn't exactly going how I had planned. He all mad. Gotta be careful. If I keep backing up, I'm gonna end up falling off a cliff. <laughs> Come on, fool! I'm trying. To, I'm going for his head. Aha! Got him in the eye again. We are very slowly working this out. I'm tempted to just go up to him and see what happens, but I'm not sure that's the best move. Ah, oh, here we go. He's a couple of mates. Yeah, help us out, would you? You guys are just doing nothing. Rook, give me a buff. Look at these guys. They're not doing anything. Go and find the thing. I mean, go. Come on, man. This wasn't supposed to take this long. <laughs> uh, last episode, I was talking about the fluidity of combat and how awesome bosses were. And they are pretty cool, but he's behaving really weirdly at the moment for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Alright. For the camera! Oh, God. Attack its leg! I am! Oh, it fell down! It fell down! Get on its head! Yeah, there we go! Here's some action! Oh, <laughs> get sliced! <laughs> yeah, that was awesome! Sweat the troll fall down. But yeah, that's one of the really cool things about this game as well, is you can climb on big bosses. You can just jump on their backs and be like, hey man, I want to hit you in other places. And that's exactly what we did. What did he drop? A rugged bone. Sounds useful. Not. Nah. What's this? Ah, oh, you probably have to mine that with a pickaxe thingy. Hello, sir. So yeah, that was awesome. That was really fun in the end. Ramboing the guy and chopping up his legs. <clears throat> that took skills, damn it. Such skills, many wow. We've done as asked. Let us go and give word of it. Let's yes. Good call, Rook. Let's go and talk to the thing again. That stone that provoked us so. 
Hello, Gov. Shall we search the area? With that, your trial is complete. You are the arisen in truth. Proven beyond any doubt. Now, I bid you select a companion for the journey ahead. They shall serve you and you alone. To share in your hardships and aid you in every endeavor. So, now this is where we customize uh, a pawn our pawn to go with us through the entire journey of uh, Dragon's Dogma. So you have two sort of that are f for hire, quote unquote, and you just kind of have them about, which is really cool. Uh, and you can kind of swap them in and out, but one is permanent. So I will design this pawn of mine um, and be back with you all in just a few moments. Fealty is sworn to you, Arisen. From this day, the Legion's men call pawns live and die by your command. So there you go, everybody. There she's over there. There's Jay, our main pawn, our little elvish-looking fighter. I decided for some feminine energy as part of the team wouldn't go amiss. So that's what I went and did. Ah, a master and his pawns. Mm -hmm. You'll be quite the force come the day you learn to fight. Mind you, that is, I can help in that regard, should you wish. I don't want to go with you. I wanted to pick another pawn first. That's a creepy looking guy. Who just let him in the encampment? You you just hang on a, a sec. So, Alright, so that was off to the right. Of, just so I can remember how to get back. So we've got a fighter... And we've got Rook. Uh, should I get another mage, or...? I'm not really sure. Because Jay will be our, our fighter, our main tank. And then we've got Rook for now, who's kind of a healer or whatever. Tell you what, let's go into the into this rift together. the Where you can actually choose another one. Here we go. Spooky. So this is the whole pawn rift thing where you get to choose other people. And there's Rook, our buddy. So who I could dismiss if I wanted to. Is everything in order, Master? View details. Skill so you got Ingle, you got Fireboon, you don't have any Do you have? Ah, oh, you do have Anodyne, so you can heal us. Alright, so Rook's gonna be the healer of the group for now. Sure. Continue. Cool story, bro. So I could get another mage, I could get another fighter, I could get a a, a second strider for more DPS. Um It's a weird it's a it's a confusing choice. You look funny, you got a cool hat on. But just having a fourth is always good, really. Um hmm. Yeah. You're very small, also. Um, maybe two two fighters, a DPS, and a mage. That seems that that feels kind of cool, and I like the look of Lenny over here. Yes, there isn't. View details. What do you have, Lenny? Blink strike. Iron sword, round shield. He's got some decent gear on him. Enlist. Come along. I am honored to travel with you. Cool. We'll just see what happens. I don't know. So we've got two fighters. We've got him as the backup mage who's going to be helping us with stuff. Actually, what skills do you have again? In order, oh, no. No. Is He's level six. He's like better than all of us. 
Ingle and Fireboon. Which isn't that interesting. And you can, you can like, search through them and all that kind of thing. You, you can, like, do a... Get out of my face. You can do a, a, a pawn search. Lol. What do you have? Grand Ingle. Whoa. That's awesome. And Anodyne as well. That's crazy. You only got one spell, bro. There's just so many people to talk to. You've only got Ingle. Yes, You're a chump. Let's just go. But actually, now, now we've got three... We've got three fighters. Like, three melee guys. Only one mage guy. Is everything in order, Master? You can leave. Select an item to gift. i got to give you something, huh? Yeah, have one of those. Ah, oh, I've got to review him. Come on. Yes. I'll do it probably next time, but I'm trying to rush through this. So we can go do more stuff. So let's let's just take any old mage. You can come with us. Whoops. Awesome. There we go. That'll do for now. So we got two we got two mage types and we've got two sort of uh, physical damage types. All right, cool. Now, are we? Do I have enough points to assign skills and things yet? I'll just skip through that real quick. Learn skills. We got four hundred ninety discipline, so I could actually learn some basic new stuff. Daggers, biting wind. Try a shot. Let's get biting wind. Dashes past the target. Oh yeah, that's a good one. And I can also assign skills for Jay. Oh, no, I use all the disciplines. Whoopsies. So, no, nothing yet. But that's fine. That's cool. All right. Let's, let's, let's hike. Change your enabled skills. Yes, soy. Please give me the ability to... Hang on, is it a secondary? I don't know for Jay. She's already got it. I've got... I, I need to get Biting Wind. There we go. All right, we're sorted. Now we're good. Thanks, buddy. All right, bye-bye. So there's our party trailing behind us. Bunch of badasses. <laughs> How funny did this little little lady look? What's your name? Baptisin? That's a weird name. I don't like it. No, it's all right. <laughs> so let's go to this training we were supposed to do with What's-Its-Face. We get some experience from it, if I remember correctly. I went the wrong way. It's this door. <laughs> Alright, let's do your bullcrap. The men of the enlistment corps never turn away the eager. We are ready to begin. Let me be clear from the outset. I'm a harsh master, whoever the pupil. You'll complete three forms of training in sequence. Each serves to hone a different quality. You'll need more than raw muscle here. If you find a task too difficult to manage, you might reconsider your party. There are other pawns here. You can choose among them if you care. The first task is carrying freight. Pull the lot of them before my count ends. You're free to choose your company, but this is a task too great for just one person. Many hands lighten any load, as they say. Now. Let's do it. Come on, son. Here we go. Sure. We can do that. It's just making sure I don't end up going the same places as where my pawns are going. Because that would be embarrassing, but I think... It looks like no one's followed me here, which is good. So I've got to go back down there. 
back down there. Look at us go. Well-oiled machine. Good job, Baptison. We, we got this. Look, done. That's teamwork at its finest. Thanks. Next is combat training. You'll face my scarecrow army here. Destroy them before my count ends. Sure. A large group will be of help again, but you must choose your companions wisely. A company all doing the same thing is less effective than of your very approach. Choose well. We'll begin as soon as your group is set about destroying scarecrows this time. Get the you're saying the same thing a million times. Look at them go with all their spells and things. Oh, yeah. Smashing it. Done. We did it. Well done. Meet each challenge with that right there. Finally. You'll be destroying more scarecrows, but don't expect a repeat of the last. There are two sorts of scarecrow, each with its own weakness. One falls only to steel and brute force, the other only to magic. If you're not mindful of how you attack them, you'll fail. Strike fast and strike hard. Vary your party and your tactics until you find success. We'll begin? Well, it's back to this game. All right, here we go. So, I think the red ones get wrecked by melee. Yeah, the red ones. Jeez, where's your aiming at, bro? There we go. Uh, we'll go bow mode. Die, please. So I don't have to bother climbing up there, basically. There we go. That one's also dead. I think we've done them all. That's it. Yeah, good. Seems pretty happy. See now the difference well selected partners can make. Yes, no doubt, no doubt. You'll learn the rest from actual combat. You have trouble. Examine your party. Sure. I feel more familiar with this Great job, everyone. I'm level five. Ah, oh, snap. Jay's level four. Fantastic. Great job, Jay. We're gonna get us some new gear. She looks ridiculous. Let's go. This is normal, just jabbering back there. <laughs> oh gosh, now we got another quest over there. But I just want to see, because now we level, I'm pretty sure we earn more jazz. Uh, learn or set skills? Learn skills. 450 discipline, there you go. So we could get a skill for Jay. Sword or shield, shield strike, symbol attack. What do they do? Strike a blow with a shield that causes little damage but forces the target to drop their guard. Unleash a barrage of strikes using the shield. Sure. I can't get any core skills yet. Advanced form of base skill, adding a new pattern of chain of sword slashes. Take down an advanced form of base skill that appears to tackle, a, appends a tackle to a forceful. Yeah, that's freaking cool. I haven't got any augments yet. Broad cut, cuts abroad, da da da, falling back to avoid attack, skyward slash. This is a flyer of arrows. Now, nah. let's get you shield strike so you can knock people down. Fantastic. Awesome. Yes, change enabled skills. Is that a shield summons? Wraps a shield. Okay, so that's aggro. You've got shield strike now too. Awesome. That's really sick and awesome and brilliant. Done. What will it be today? Thanks. You, Come again soon. you too. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to this lady. I am Mercedes. I lead the men of the Enlistment Corps. I've heard talk of the Arisen. They say you hold dominion over the pawns. I've ordered pawns to take up swords and fight myself. But they are a clumsy lot. I cannot call them into this world as you do, though, nor make traveling companions of them. What manner of magic lets you command them so? Well, it matters not. The dragon is come. I'll welcome any help, be it pawn, arisen, farmer, or fishwife. Make use of the encampment as you please. 
Are you in need of rest? Sure, I'll rest. As you will. Repose is the better part of readiness. Everybody panic! Uh, bow mode, yes please. I'm gonna fight from as far back as possible. It's just a Hydra, you know, no, no biggie. I'm trying to shoot at the heads that are getting closest. Holy moly, man. There we go. So look, if you hit them just right, they flinch and go away. See the ones that are roaring? You know, that's, that's bad times. Oh god, he's eating them! He's eating them! <laughs> Whoa! That must be that, um, that, uh, super duper angle that little lady has. That's a badass attack. You can just tell. It's like, like, just fire on steroids. Where is everybody? Ha, <laughs> what a shot. Still hurting him from here. You know they're gonna do something bad, though. <laughs> oh, that's nasty, bro. Alright. See, this is how Kluger fights, at least for now, unless, until we get not squishy. Keep scaring the heads off. Man, they're all they're all yelling. Back off. That one got eaten. That one's a lost cause. Look at that. I, I chose well. That's some that's some sick nasty attack. Hey, hey, you're roaring near Jay. Jay's my best friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa! Look at Jay go up there, man. She's shredded. And Rook doing all fancy healing spells. This is what's awesome. Oh, that guy got wrecked. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. I see better now from whence the legends arose. Good judgment, swift footwork. Impressive, truly. In any case, the Duke will want to know of this attack. I'd hoped to gather a larger force before leaving for the capital. But a Hydra's head and the Orison who claimed it make up the difference amply. I cannot say what the past may hold. You will need your strength. It will be slow going with the cart. I dare say you'll have no trouble catching up. We'll meet at the way castle. Till then, I bid you rest well. It is a long road ahead. I've gained the Oh, cool. Leveled again. Awesome. Jay also leveled up. Great work. Fantastic. Well, I'll probably sort those out. Oh, Jay leveled twice. She leveled six. She caught up. Damn. Awesome cool beans. So, um, this probably feels like a good natural stopping point. We killed a Hydra and knocked its head off with just a bow and an arrow. So that's great work. <laughs> but no, guys, I'll leave it here. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please do remember to like and comment below. I'm having a lot of fun playing out this series for you guys. So I hope you guys are digging it too. And I hope to see you next time. My name is Kluger, and you have a good one.